there's a lot of Ghost of Tsushima easter eggs that can be found while playing the PlayStation 4 exclusive video game developed by Sucker Punch and in this video guys I want to share with you some of them because they are pretty cool to find. So welcome back friends, Vlad here with a new game guide in which we talk the best 18 easter eggs in Ghost of Tsushima, their locations and what they mean. Before we begin, let me tell you that after, after a long weekend spent tracking down these easter eggs and the remaining god knows how many sashimono banners, I finally got the platinum trophy which is quite accessible to anyone, hence you can expect a series of cool videos to be uploaded throughout the week. This means that if you enjoy gaming videos, joining this channel will not only give you access to them, but also support my work, as well as hitting the like button on this video and for this I want to thank you in advance. Ok then, let's get back to our list of Ghost of Tsushima easter eggs that I was able to find, their locations and meaning. Obviously if you found others, sharing them with me would mean a lot and you can do that in the comments section below. The first Ghost of Tsushima easter egg is really easy to find especially if you hunt all vanity gear in the game and I am pretty sure you will do that. It is a headband and a reference to infamous Second Son video game and its protagonist Delsin. It can be found on top of Omi Monastery and after you do a lot of climbing and grappling you'll get the band of the second sun. Once you collect it you'll see a small description which reads the colors of a warrior from a distant time and place. Now, Infamous Second Sun was the previous video game developed by Sucker Punch Productions and boy it was a great game and still is. Released in 2014, the game revolves around Delsin who wears a brown cap and the band of the Second Sun in Ghost of Tsushima is also brown as you can see here. Next we have Gyozen's Blindfold which is another headband you can find while exploring the eastern coast of Toyotama. It is located on top of a watchtower and it is well truly easy to find. Now at first sight this specific Ghost of Tsushima vanity gear won't mean much but this is actually a reference to General Gyozen, the antagonist from Godzilla Unleashed. Godzilla Unleashed was released back in 2007 for Nintendo Wii and also PlayStation 2. If you played it you may remember that General Gyozen had an ugly scar on his left eye after a fight with Godzilla. This specific Ghost of Tsushima Vanity Gear is a reference to Gyozen not only by name but also because the blindfold limits Jin's sight as the scar was limiting Gyozen's. Moving on, we have the beautiful mask named Seiryu's Glare. This can be obtained from Sagomil in the third region Kamiagata. This is my favorite Ghost of Tsushima easter egg because it's a reference to Aura Kingdom also known as Fantasy Frontier Online. When you get the Seiryu's glare in Ghost of Tsushima, you'll see a text that this mask is for a warrior with the heart of a dragon. Seiryu from Aura Kingdom is also known as the benevolent queen of dragons and if you played the MMORPG then you most likely remember her. Her costume is blue just like the mask and well the connection is more than obvious. The fourth easter egg in Ghost of Tsushima is so obvious that doesn't need an introduction. It is the Krug Kama headband that can be obtained from Jogaku Temple. Again a lot of climbing and grappling must be done but once you get there you'll get this cool crooked Kama headband which as you can see bears the symbol of Sly Cooper's iconic hook shaped Kama. For younger gamers Sly Cooper is the first franchise de developed by Sucker Punch Productions and the protagonist is Master Thief Sly Cooper who is a raccoon. His main weapon is a Kama just like the one you see on this headband. The blue color is also a reference to Sly's blue outfit. Good, another reference that and easter egg related to Sly Cooper is the Sly Tanuki sword kit which can be obtained from this pillar of honor just southeast from Jogaku temple also in the third area. The name Sly Tanuki clearly indicates we are talking about our, our beloved raccoon and in addition to this we also have this blue and yellow combination on the swords handles and the fury scabbard that I swear it looks like a raccoon tail. <laughs> ok now along with these two Sly Cooper easter eggs we have the Cooper clan cosplayer trophy for PlayStation 4 which requires you to equip the legendary thief outfit. I won't go into details on that one because I already have a video uploaded on how to get it. The next set of 13 Ghost of Tsushima easter eggs, yes 13, can be found only after you finish the game's story. 
eventually you'll be teleported to the Dawn Refuge and here you will find a very interesting display featuring a lot of easter eggs. From the beginning we can see that these are origami pieces which are clearly a reference to the origami from the infamous Second Sun Paper Trail DLC we all enjoyed for 6 weeks after the game's release. But from left to right we have even more easter eggs. The red car over here is a reference to Gran Turismo Sport released in 2017 on PlayStation 4. Next we have a Tolnang machine from our beloved Horizon Zero Dawn also released in 2017. Then we have Deacon's bike from Days Gone released last year in 2019. And obviously Ratchet's head from Ratchet and Clank PlayStation 4 exclusive franchise. Close to the two katanas we can also see Gaius from Shadow of Colossus which is one of my favorite games by the way. And we can also see this guitar from The Last of Us 2 which was released only a month ago. Next to it we can spot the logo of PlayStation London Studio who brought us Blood and Truth last year. And even a baseball bat referencing MLB The Show series. The next one is the Kojima Productions logo which can be clearly seen here and you may remember their last, latest video game Death Stranding. Kratos from God of War franchise we all love also sent his Leviathan X to Tsushima Island and next to it we can see this paintbrush which appears in Concrete Genie for PlayStation 4. Last but definitely not least we have this imp with sunglasses from Dreams developed by Media Molecule. All of these cool Ghost of Tsushima easter eggs can be found on this little table over here. How amazing is that? Now these are all easter eggs in Ghost of Tsushima I was able to spot but I think there might be way more. So do you have a Ghost of Tsushima easter egg that you have found but wasn't included in this video? Let me know in the comment section below because I can't wait to check it out and if you enjoyed this video please support my easter egg hunt by pressing the like button. Also subscribing to my channel would mean a lot to me. Until next time, stay safe.